Hi all, Richard Fisk here. Uh, welcome to my channel, which is this one. Don't panic, loss of signal. And uh, how you can avoid panicking. So, um, I decided actually I was gonna go off and do a sort of a long range test. I wasn't gonna fly locally. Um, so I took off from my roof terrace uh, after calibrating the compass. Um, and it didn't, didn't sound right for some reason. I, I went off in sports mode and I didn't get the home point set on the drone, which may have been an issue later on. Uh, probably not, but uh, anyway, I didn't do it. It's first little error, so I always try and do that. So it went off flying, um, didn't sound right. It was drifting to the left. The motors were not buzzing like they normally would do, like a, like a fly, <laughs> as we all know. Mavic Airs are great for that. Um, so I sort of flicked around on the controls, uh, left and right, etc. Just trying to see if it would uh, cure the problem, which it sort of did. Uh, maybe it didn't have the GPS signal set, so it took a little bit of time to do that. I don't know. I think that's the case anyway. So anyway, after a while, it's standard, all right. And I thought I'd go off. Um, there was a hill in front of me which I had to climb up and over, so I was gaining altitude. That little uh, white building there in, uh, is like an MOT testing station for cars, so I headed towards that. So at least I had a uh, sort of a location point to head to. Uh, and right in the distance, there was actually a monument. It's called the Espiritu Santo, and it's in Vera, in Spain, where I live. So I thought I might go over to that. Uh, checking the signal strength was okay. Uh, looking at the controls, etc. Battery was all right. Um, got to 800 meters, um, and then it just gives you a little warning there. Uh, about you may be flying too far away for it to be in sight. So that's normal. I wasn't really worried about that. Thousand meters away, one kilometer. And then uh, I decided I was gonna change the plan. I was gonna go for a seek and find and look for someone's villa, which is uh, in the distance. <clears throat> um, so I, Decided uh, I was 1.5 kilometers away. Maximum flight altitude reached. I'd have to go up to maximum height so that I could try and at least get a better signal line from where I was on the terrace to the drone. Because uh, the hill in front was a, was a bit of a problem. It was blocking the signal, which I think is what happened later on. So anyway, I get to uh, 1.8 kilometers away. Um, when you look uh, at the signal strength, it's, uh, it's dropping down to about one bar and there was lagging on the image. But basically what was happening on the drone was uh, not what I was seeing on the, on the phone. <clears throat> and then just over two kilometers away, you obviously got a break up. Um, trying to control it, I was moving the yaw left and right, trying to, <laughs> trying to play, basically point it at home so I could try and fly it. And you saw there, it was going round and round and round. I checked on the map, uh, no control whatsoever. That was probably me just messing around on controls. Um, and luckily, the safety kicks in. No signal. So, return to home, signal loss. The point in thing is on this video, really, I'm trying to get across to you all, is don't panic. <laughs> it happens a lot. You will lose signal, don't panic. Press the return to home button, and then wait. and then wait a bit more, and then it'll kick in. <coughs> there you go. So uh, <clears> at <throat> this point, the signal comes back. Uh, I could see I'd uh, reduced the distance between me and the drone. I knew it was coming back, so that was all no okay. signal. And then, it's a bit weird, the signal loss again. Um, I don't know why that happened. Normally, if you return to home mode, it happens once and then it'll just come straight back home. Um, but why it lost it twice, who knows? It shouldn't have done that. Maybe it's because I didn't have the GPS signal set at the beginning. But anyway, don't panic. Check the map, make sure it's coming back in the right direction <laughs> and let the drone do its thing. Um, and don't panic. So this is drone footage. Uh, you can see my apartments in the distance. So I knew I was sort of safe on the battery, I was going to be alright and the signal would get better and I was getting nearer home so I didn't have to worry about running out of battery power. Um, and then I thought to myself, I was still pushing on the stick so full speed back. I don't know if it was in sports mode coming back and returned home, I don't know if that happens or not. Um, but I thought what I'll do is I could cancel 
and return to home and see if I can get control again. Um, which I didn't want to do when I was sort of uh, 1800 kilometers or 1800 meters away, just in case anything else went wrong on, the, on this flight. So I waited till I got uh, over my apartment and then, uh, then I thought, oh, okay, I'll cancel the return to home. So, which I did, I was still in sports mode at that point, still had a, a nice amount of battery. So I thought I can relax and just enjoy the flight, which is all I did after that, <clears throat> which is nice. Panic over, drone is above me, flying around. Haven't lost my uh, expensive drone. Let's fly it, run the battery down, and then come into land. So the moral of the story is, uh, for anyone who's quite new or um, or an experienced even, uh, return to home, loss of signal, press the button. Don't panic, it will come back.